Welcome back to AI War 2. This is going to be part 2 and hopefully conclusion of this particular case study. We're looking, of course, again at the double difficulty 5 AI setting. And last time we completed really stabilizing and securing our defense. So now we want to go out on the attack, but it's mostly attack in a defensive way at first. Limiting the AI's ability to threaten us. So, one thing I did want to get into is I don't do this any more than is necessary myself. I don't like it thematically, but direct upgrades are important. We could upgrade our battle stations. There was a suggestion for that. Not going to do that one, but I am going to upgrade our home command station. And particularly the home command is a very valuable one to upgrade because especially the first one is cheap. Second one's 1500. They get more expensive as you go up. Marks up everything by one level. And then the cryopods are going to give us more energy and the home settlements are going to give us more metal. We don't have those except for on the home command station, which is why this one is the most valuable to do. That's going to give us almost another 100k energy and so more metal, of course, and making everything easier to defend in this system as well. So, our first target, we're going to move this fleet. That's going to be our agile transport fleet, the faster one, sort of in the middle here to play center field. We're going to load up everything in our support fleets and our cloaked fleet over here. And then we're going to head after this instigator. We want them to stop getting a bunch of free hunter ships. So we'll move off into Brasua first. And we're just going to take this step by step. But our main goal is to lower AI progress. And then increase our turrets so that we can automate basically defenses against most waves. And we have... Okay, these are more cross-planet attack ships coming in. So we're just going to get over here. Block them off as best we can. And eliminate them before we proceed in. Okay, that looks good. In we go. And okay, here's some more right at the entrance. But we want to take out this instigator. Everything else is gravy. There we go. We're going to load again. I'm not going to bother fighting these. They can trickle through. Yeah, that's more cross-planet attack ships. But I want to begin heading down this way now. Because we eventually want to get around to Helicon. And knock out that data center. Error corrected. Hmm. So we've got a few friends here in Gatry. Let's send uh, that fleet up that way. We can unload you. We can move down here. Let's see, let's knock out that guard post. All right. Of course, we're not gonna bother with a super terminal. We're just interested in cleaning up more basic elements at this moment. All right, let's wait for these ships to get a little bit closer. Or maybe we'll go back because we're now going to begin to get waves that they're probably going to hit us. Yep, they're doing two of them to the same place. Okay, our one fleet back there is not going to be able to handle, at least not well, that level of resistance. So they're already there. We're going to move everybody else back. And this is kind of what we've got to do. You know, defend when it's time to defend. And then, when they're done attacking, in between the waves, we're going to go out and make gains. But we did still get rid of the instigator base, so they're no longer getting free ships to the threat, and that should be a little bit more manageable now. And, of course, our slower combat factory taking a bit more time.
but now they're all in place. And here they come. So we can see by the numbers that, uh, yeah, there's quite a few. We definitely want everybody here. Now, fighting them out like this is actually not the best idea that has ever been conceived. We are going to actually retreat back here where our turrets are. So that our turrets are going to be involved in the fight. Maybe we'll hang out around this area. And now, yeah, some of our drones are driving them off the other way. So now I will go back out there. But clearly we, at this point, have the upper hand. Oh, hello, look at all you. Hunter fleet joining in, and this is a gift to us. Yeah, they're, they're leaving, okay. But any hunter that we can eliminate during this fight, so long as they don't overwhelm us, is definitely going to be a positive. And a lot of them escaped, but we knocked out some. It's going to take a while to grind them all down, though. It's a close battle, definitely advise keeping it on default speed, but otherwise we can just speed this up and do the mop up a little bit more rapidly. Alright, there we go. Now there was a suggestion by one of the more advanced players that I, you know, multitask a little bit here. By which we mean going after expanding here and grabbing these turrets instead of waiting. And I'm not actually going to do that. But the reason is that I want to be cautious. And my goal is not to give them a way to have more income for their hunter or their warden or their waves. I just want to clear everything out and gradually reduce their attacks first. Now you could definitely do that and it would be more useful playing on a higher difficulty. But in this case... Giving the AI a little bit more time to build up, it's not going to build up horribly significantly. And it's definitely going to be much safer if you definitely want to avoid making any costly mistakes to just be patient and handle one issue at a time. So we're going to chase everybody down here as much as we can. And we're going to move on out. And we're moving in a different direction this particular time because we what we want to do here is progress towards the next data center. And that's actually going to be up here in Terrible since we're already at this end of our territory. Alright. So let's hop into the next system. In Tagliata. This is now two hops away. We want to keep an eye on that. Oh, hello. We have a Nucleophilic Guardian. Okay, let's get rid of you. Then we can see all this coming this way. This is Spider Turrets. We do not like Spider Turrets. They've also got some Warden in here. Of course, the problem with Spiders is they are going to slow everybody down or immobilize them. So, we're just going to move up. We're going to take you out. Then you out make our way across the system so we can take out these spiders. There we go. Let's go out this way. And they've got more ships padding in, so we're going to have to watch that. But you can see, you know, just all of the red icons. We can see a lot of our ships are slowed, and some of them are not. 
but we are gradually working our way now and beginning to take out these turrets. And once they're gone, we are going to be doing much better in this system. And this is just plowing the path here. I could have tried to cloak and sneak my way through and everything, but we're just going to make it a clear path so we can come back through here later on if we need to. Gradually the turrets are going down. Now we can move off and clear out other elements of the system. Quite a few vanguards, which are just annoying for multiple reasons, but they just take a lot of punishment. Of course, you know, Mark IV system, so it's just taking a bit of time here to get rid of all the resistance. But I think that should just about do it. Everybody get over here. And we will head into Terrible. Let's go. And, oh, there's a lot in here. Okay. Knock out the data center first of all. And let's also bring in our support. Well, no. Okay. We got that data center. We're not going to clean out the rest of this, though. Because we have to get back and defend. Okay. Okay. Gatru, so you're going to come back here, then you're going to retreat to Draco. Now one thing to note about the waves is that it takes several minutes for the AI progress reduction to actually filter through. Because the waves are generated ahead of time, well before they show up. So these came right about the time we hit that data center not gonna have any reduction there but we may see a reduction the next set of waves that come through so if it seems like it didn't do any good give it 10 minutes or so and then you should actually see that happening Now let's get you right here in the middle. And our next barrel of fun is about to arrive. Now, of course, eventually what's going to happen is that we won't have to come back and defend like this all the time. But I think this is the sort of moment where you can just take a look at it and say, okay, you know, this is a good lesson to learn. It's a price to pay for not having set up a little bit better earlier in the game and we're going to grind through this but after we're done grinding through it we are definitely going to realize that we're going to appreciate having a better plan of attack in the future i'm just going to wait till we have a good advantage here it appears that's going to happen but you never know when the hunter may say, you know what, we want a piece of the action. So until we whittle their numbers down, yeah, now I think I'll speed it up.
chasing them all the way around with, of course, we've got our tackle drones pushing them about. Okay. There we go. Now we're going to load everybody back up again. And head out. Okay. Let's go back up here first. And if that's clear, we'll pop back up into Terrible. Because we do want to go beyond this. It was good to get this data center. But I want to get that data center as well. And keep on heading in that direction. While we are up here. Unload everybody. And we'll move up to the entry point. Not a lot in here. So I think we're just going to be moving right back in. And seeing what kind of a mess we can create. Not as quite as much as was in here before. Now let's go after some of these guard posts. Try to be a bit systematic about this. We're roughly even here. Okay, here's a dire vampire guardian coming our way. So let's definitely focus fire there. For those who aren't familiar, the Vampire Guardians heal themselves, the Vampirism ability, based on how much damage they do to you. There, there you go, you can see the health bar jumping back up. So you need a certain amount of firepower to even be able to take one of these down. Okay. Clearing the way. And Valk is our next target. So we'll go ahead and head down here. jump in then and see what's going to go on in this direction okay again moderate resistance but nothing I don't think we can handle yes, sir. got um, quite a bit of warden I think we already have the numbers advantage now this is four hops away so any further is potential for deep striking this is the last system I really want to clear up ah, vampire again Gradually wearing it down. And I think we're looking pretty good here. Clean up the mess, fellas. Well, we have a problem in Shiori. Yeah. The hunter's coming in there, which is actually probably good for us. Let's just make sure we move in our fleet there to handle it. I think we just need our... Yeah, all the ships are coming in now. Okay. Even more hunter? Good. 
actually really because as our ships come in here we should be able to clear them out they're being kind of a pain at the moment but there you can see okay now they're running we'll knock out as many of them as we can yeah and everything over here seems to be in order okay so from here first I want this data center Oh, yeah, lots of friends in here. Okay, what we're going to do in here is we're just going to hit some data center over here somewhere. Yeah, right there it is. We're going to hit that, and then we're going to get out. There we go. Load. And that's most of them anyway. Leave, please. Notice the deep strike counter going off here. So we're leaving before we hit that as well. All right. Next, and go the other direction. And the reason for this is a distribution node. Now this will actually raise AI progress. So you're probably thinking, why is he doing this? Well. 1,200 science is 60% of the science you get from a planet, which is 20 AI progress. 35 hacking is about equal to what you're going to get from a planet. So this is a much more efficient and cheaper way. You're paying less AI progress to get the hacking and the science. So you definitely want to hit distribution nodes when they're in range. It gives you more resources to deal with other threats. Okay. So now we're at 99. Still beats the heck out of 136 where we started. So we're done in this direction for now. I could go further, try to recapture Druid, etc. By the way, Druid, notice the 1120 science left there. And then Kitazo, we left 1416 science there. And Helicon, where we're going back down to a little bit later, over a thousand. So if you're going to take a planet and grab a fleet from there and abandon it, in the event you decide to do that, definitely at least make sure you're grabbing all the science, because we don't want to leave that on the table. But I can't really defend this far out yet. I'd have to keep a fleet out here to defend this. Don't want to do that. So we are simply going to load everybody up. And it's good time for it, because we're about to get with another wave back there. So we're going to route all the way back around. Nope. I'm not going to try to, well actually I might be able to get through this way, but I'm going to take the long route. Just to make sure everything's going to be safe. Okay. They're headed to Draco. We already have one fleet in Shiori. So we just need the other ships to go back to Draco. And we will handle all of those. And notice the wave sizes. They're in the mid 40s now. Not in the 50s and 60s. They're going down. This is progress. We can all be happy. And here we go. They're trying to come all the way by to Glasses, which actually makes a lot of sense, because that's a much weaker economic station, but they're not going to get away with it. We're going to blast them apart. And over in Shiori, similar events are transpiring. Okay. So, now, I'm going to load up again and move out. And now I think we've lowered AI progress enough. I am going to multitask a bit. I'm going to send, well, I'm going to wait till you're done in here actually, and then I will. There isn't much left of the fleet beyond a certain point here. So we're going to make sure that gets done. But we're going to move you back along here where we were before. We're going to grab that distribution node when we can. And then that data center there. And it looks like this is about done now. Okay. 
So you can load up. Meanwhile, let's be parking right on top of this. And then you are going to jump down in here. We're going to start getting some more turrets. Of course, I don't want to be involved in this when the next wave comes, which is why I'm getting this done right now. Immediately after a wave. Okay, we have a bunch of zombies in here. We're just going to knock out that station. And meanwhile, back here, we're going to load everybody and pop in to Zoranel. Especially if we properly click on the wormhole. Okay. So, yes. Concussion Guardian here. That's a problem. Also a problem is this fortress. And we're kind of in range of both. So, you know, perhaps six of one, half a dozen of the other. But... We're going to go after the Concussion Guardian first. And these are two dangerous enemies. You know, we could retreat out of range of the fortress. I don't think we really need to do all of that. We want to knock these both down quickly, and then we'll be fine on the rest. I do believe. There we go. There's one. Now go after the fortress. Okay. This is down. So now we're going to build command station here. And this is where they would enter. So if they're going to come over to Glassis, they'll we'll still be intercepting them to some degree. Now, since we have all the exits covered, I'm now going to switch you to an econ system. And some of those items blow up that are no longer allowed for an econ as compared to logistics. But we're going to secure this. And now that's not on the front line. Okay. So we need to clear this out. And this is actually looking very good once we knock out this fortress. So if you would please be so kind. And, you know, just cease existing. That'd be great. Okay. We're going to get another distribution node. Up to 122 AI progress. So overall a net negative 14 so far in the session, but we have done very well at also grabbing some more science and some more hacking, so it's not like you know, we haven't added that into our whole bag of tricks as well. We've gained another planet, obviously. Now you are looking pretty good. Let's go ahead and build some force fields around you. So we're just sort of multitasking and making sure we're continuing to progress on both sides. But I think now we are going to want to begin hacking over here as well. Let's get some more turrets. Now, which ones do we want? Ambush turrets are outstanding at taking on enemies right after they enter a planet. But they have to be really short range, right up by the wormhole. For our case, I want something that's a little more versatile, particularly given that we can go with the spiders here, which might be my favorite turret overall. Uh, and Infinite range, they slow down the enemy, they do some damage, but the main thing is they just slow down the enemy. They can keep them even from getting within range and totally engine lock them from even moving up to a limited degree. So we're going to definitely grab them. And then if we head back here. Okay, this is all in place. So now we are one, two, three, four hops away, and we want to quickly pop into Helicon and grab that data center. Whoops. Go back. Thank you. Make it go away if you please. There 
Thank you. Now we're going to load and leave. And I really don't care about this command station. I'm not going to try to secure this. I'm just going to get rid of it. Stop, please. There it is. Okay. Because, again, we're not going to stay out here and defend all of that. But now back down, we got 102 AI progress. And we're going to retreat now and really focus in hard on keeping everything under control and building up these turrets. So we want to do our next hack here, and we also want to build up those spiders. Now the imploder uh, really does damage to large targets. The pike turret really does good against targets that are close to their maximum health as well. So it's a little bit of an overlap. I mean, obviously this is a good tech for us. It's Mark IV where you've got a lot of piercing investment. Probably have more later. Uh, the Blitzkrieg, better for beachheading really. It's a short range turret. Correction, I was thinking of another turret. The Blitzkrieg isn't short range. You can see the 10,000 range there. But it has the drones that it releases once it's destroyed. And it's fairly cheap to build. And I just, I'm not really going to go for that in this case. I could, but I'm going to pass on it. I like the concussion and the micro concussive turrets. They're long ranged. But also in this particular case, we have the pike turrets, which are good against high armor targets. And the concussion turrets, which are good against low armor targets. So by going with the lower one here, the Micro Concussive has a broader range of armor that it's good against. So almost all ships are going to have armor that the Micro Concussive or the Pike really are good against. And that's the kind of synergy that I like to look for. And again, I do like the range of them at over 12,000. So we are going to grab that. Then we're going to start. We do need to put up our defenses here just over the wormhole they'll have to enter at. So all of that should do very well. And then, of course, we want to hop around to our other planets and also throw up the spiders. And so far, I'm only I'm not using the battle station turrets yet. I'm just throwing up the turrets that are available on all planets because I want to get a handle on where we are. Do we have enough defenses to handle waves you know, without support? And I don't think we do yet, but I do think that we're headed in that direction. And here comes the reaction that we get from succeeding in our hack. Which means, guess what? We're going to take a moment, we're going to build up more turrets. Now, these micro-concussive, they have enough range to reach all the way. So go ahead and put those up. And make our tour back through. And that should do it there. And I am still putting them up even on the econ. I could say, well, I'm going to save a little bit of energy. But in case somebody does get in here eventually, let, let's have, you know, what minimal turrets they can build. It's not a lot. And this is all, you know, plenty of range. Okay, and now we're starting to churn through some of that metal. Another hand, a little while here, we're going to get a good handle on exactly where we are. We're probably going to be hitting waves of something like 40 strength at this point, I'm going to guess. Let's take a look at where our floor is. The floor is at 56. Okay. So we could probably just about get down to the floor by doing the next thing that I'm about to do. I'm going to wait for all this to go through. There we go. But we're going to go after that major data center. So 
Let's get out of here. Now we're going to head off into Toda. We bring everybody. It's not that far away. Yeah, wave of 44, and uh, our defenses there are fine. Of course, we've got extra defenses there, more than we'll be able to handle. And look, <laughs> I didn't build the extra turrets in here. I built them everywhere else, but I forgot Shiori. Let's go ahead and correct that. All right. Gonna take this one out. And then, for now, we're just going to go logistical again. And we're going to want to put it right on top of this, because we're going to want the force fields to be able to defend here. And make sure that our support fleets assist. I wanted to Gatru, 42 and 46. So you can see we're competitive now with the incoming waves coming in. And we're going to be better than competitive because we've just seen another drop. So now we've basically hit that point of self-sufficiency. And we're going to, of course, be able to build up more defenses, etc. in here. But let's take a look at the bigger picture. Because I think we're about done with what we can see from this game. Now, what would I do from this point? Well, I would definitely grab, you know, Helicon and Kitazo and Druid for absolutely no AI progress cost whatsoever. And then I would have additional resources there. And we could extend out, you know, we got more distribution nodes. We have more data centers we could hit. If we look at where we're at, our total reduction would take us down to 62, but the floor is up to 63. So we actually have one point of AI progress below. And if we could continue to hit data centers, data centers, there's more major data centers out here we could hit. And having two of them next to each other would be a big boost. So we got all kinds of AIP reduction. Another data center out this way. We have, you know, Botnet Golem is great, or Artillery Golem. Both of them are very good. We could grab any of those. We've got Tech Vaults. We've got Outguards. We have all kinds of options that we can continue to leap through the galaxy and strengthen ourselves. Here's one of the AI homeworlds. We have up here this fleet. This is an outstanding fleet here in Cobra. It's Muggers. We've already invested in them. And the Parasites and Nano Swarms are rare, but they're basically a melee zombification ship. And they're quite powerful. I don't think I've ever actually used Nanoswarms because they never generate in a game that I get. They're definitely, would, I would want to grab this, particularly since we've already invested in the Mugger Tech line. And we've got 150 hacking. We have about 6,000 science. And going up, once we grab all of our other plants, we're going to have, what, 9, 10,000, something like that, science. Plenty to invest wherever we might feel like. There's lots of options the enemy is not going to be nearly strong enough to stop any of the attacks that we want to do. So unless we do something really screwy from this point, it's a case of how and when we decide that we're going to win this game. And if any of you out there have other saves, you're like, you know, I've got one that's a lot different. Why don't you look at that one, please? Feel free to send it in, contact me on the Discord, or send it to the email, or whatever works for you.